In this video, we'll build an animation that demonstrates rotation, motion paths, and timeline looping to create an orbiting moon, rotating Earth, and approaching asteroid. First, let's add our images to the scene so that we have three elements to work with. An image of the Earth, the moon, and an asteroid. We're going to animate an approaching asteroid along the curved line already on our scene. Since this animation only runs once, we'll animate it on the main timeline. We'll first add a simple animation for the asteroid using Hype's Record feature and Capo. Once we have our animation, we'll convert its path to a motion path so that we can bend its movement around the Earth. To convert a standard animation to a motion path, select the animation path, click once again to create a control point, and drag the point to form a curve. Because we want this asteroid to speed up as Earth's gravity pulls it closer, we'll change this animation to use the Ease In timing function. Next, let's animate the Earth spinning when we load our document. Since this animation needs to loop, we'll place it on its own timeline, started by a timeline action at the beginning of the scene. To create a circular rotation, select the Earth element, advance the playhead to the desired duration, and press record. Next, set a rotation value of 360 degrees on the Z axis. To ensure a constant rate of motion, use the linear timing function for this animation. To loot this animation, add a timeline that evokes start timeline at the final keyframe. A quick preview shows us that the Earth is rotating correctly. Next, we're going to animate the rotation of the moon around the Earth in a third timeline. We'll also add an action on the main timeline that starts this new timeline. First, add the moon element to a group so that we can orbit the moon around the Earth while it also rotates on its own axis. We'd like a full orbit to occur over a minute and 40 seconds, and we'll again use Hype's Record feature to create this rotation animation. By default, this animation will rotate the element around its center point. To change this behavior, hold down the Command key and drag the rotation point to a new location. When we preview this rotation, we see that the shadows of the Earth and the Moon don't line up correctly. To fix this, we need to rotate the Moon itself in a negative direction at the same time as we rotate its group. Again, we'll set this timeline to loop using a timeline action. In a quick preview, we can see that the two rotations keep the shadow angle correct. Back to the main timeline, we can review what we have so far. Two timeline actions that start both the Moon and Earth timelines our elements fading in, and our asteroid moving through the scene. Let's preview to see it all in action. 